How you doing? It's Vince, I'm Backyard Mangoes, and we're gonna look at growth habit a little bit of just two trees, or maybe a couple of trees, well, whatever I do. We'll look at maybe more than one, but let's look at growth habit of a couple of trees. Follow me over here. So this little tree right here, I planted as a seven gallon tree well over a year ago, year and a half ago. This is it. This is called an ice cream mango. It is just known for not growing, staying really uh, small. Um, to be honest, it probably didn't look that great the first year, and it's actually looking really good right now. So I'm kind of hoping to get some mangoes off of it. Right beside this tree, just over here, let me move my camera. Boom, look at the size of this guy, 015. Now, 015, I bought it as a tiny little, uh, like one, one gallon, three gallon. It was a small tree and it struggled for the first year. I have videos on it about transplant shock, but this tree now is a monster. It's a good, oh, three feet higher than the uh, ice cream. It is wider. It's a double the width of the ice cream. The trunk itself is... If I had to measure that diameter, I'd say this diameter is at least three times. And, um, well, I am a math teacher, so I could measure the diameter or the circumference and then find the diameter, but we're not going to do that. Um, but it is just, look how much more vigorous this tree is going. Not only that, if you come in here back to this ice cream, let's see if my camera can get it. The growth spurt of this, barely six inches or so long, and each of them are only approximately six inches. That's about it. When I come over here and I look at the growth spurt on this, it goes from here all the way up. That's almost a foot. This one, oh, let's see if this, oh no, it goes there. Again, another foot. Each of these nodules from growth to growth are well over a foot. This one looks like it's a good 14 inches. So massive difference in growth habit. This thing, I can imagine the thing, I'm sorry, ice cream. I imagine I'm rarely going to have to trim or tip and very little maintenance. 015, going to get out of control. I will definitely have to work on this tree, keep it maintained. If not, in the future, I will have problems. Let's turn back around. Here is a everybody's favorite condo mango, coconut flavor. You know what I'm talking about already. It is, starts with a P, Pickering. Um, I have trimmed and tipped this tree a little bit. This tree is actually about a year and a half older than my 015. And my 015 is a good foot, foot and a half maybe over this tree. Uh, this tree has already been productive for me, producing a good amount of mangoes every year. 015 is still uh, immature for as large as it is. It's just a big immature little thing um, and it hasn't produced, but Pickering, and you could see much more uh, sort of density of the canopy here. It is just a little bit thicker as I look in there. So these, all these mango trees that I have, and I'm up to 60, have different sort of growth habits. Some of them have some similar growth habits, but some of them have a uh, difference. Like, uh, we'll just take a walk right over here. Malika, Super Alfonso, Nam Doc Mai. Here's the one. This was a favorite of a lot of people last year. This tree is an all summer. And with all summer, you see it's a very spreading uh, growth habit. It's growing up, but it is also spreading out. And then the inside is nice because it's more, say, airy in there. It gets a better wind flow and airflow and which is good it keeps down on diseases uh any disease issues um but this is uh, uh all summer amazing mango and uh i'm I, this one i'm uh, i'm happy with i'm very happy with all summer
and it only produced last year for the first time about 15 to 20 mangoes um so yeah the completely different growth habit and then when you compare it to real quickly nam doc mai again look how dense this canopy is uh more compact now it'll grow but i'm gonna plan on keeping this thing uh, under control but hey the okay you got me i'll do one more alan per bonanshan alan per bonanshan and i forget the other name i'm terrible with names and dates and people but um what is the other name on this one i forget <clears throat> does do I have it listed on here? Do I have the tag? No. I have to look it up. So anyway, this is my Allen per Bonachon tree. And you can see now I have it staked over here. So I am trying to spread it a little bit. But it's a much more spreading growth habit. And it's starting low to the ground. And just another, you know, they all have different shapes and all have different growth habits.